Howdy everyone and welcome to Orion Ready. Today I'm going to be talking about preparedness survival items at Target. So this kind of gives a look at what Target has to offer. It is, I'll tell you, not as good as Walmart because I did not make a kit from Target. It's very hard to, but it's still interesting to see what Target has to offer. Uh, also, I have a backdrop now. So this flag is from a person down here in Texas called uh, Stoic Inter in goodness Stoic Innovations. He's on Instagram. Great flag. I also have a picture of Texas designed in like medieval style, but y'all can't see that. That being said, we're gonna go over the uh, video that I collected from Target. And um, yeah, so first off, here is Target. It is a pretty large Target, a super Target. The first section I decided to go to was the food section to look for anything that can be shelf stable, shelf sustaining in the event of uh, preparing. Also, throughout this video, I'm doing preparedness as in home preparedness, like your home is your castle, and then also preparedness as in hiking, survival uh, kits. So in this, there is a lot of cliff bars, a lot of granola bars, and one of the things I like to pick up is the epic food, beef jerky uh, style of uh, food, I guess. They're really good, and they contain a lot of protein, and they last a good long while. There was also these Campbell soups here, which I thought were pretty interesting. They were just put in a microwave and it comes with crackers and you're able to quickly eat them. Next, I went to the athletic aisle, which had a lot of honey stingers, noons, propel, you know, a lot of electrolytes, a lot of caffeine, a lot of amino acids to get you throughout whatever you were doing. I like to have these usually in my kit for, you know, electrolytes when I'm hiking and I'm sweating a bunch and they're great to have on hand. And then there's a bunch of canning, a bunch of sealing devices if you're doing at-home pre preparedness and then a bunch of food containers and storages which some of these containers i think could be used for a survival kit which i kind of find is interesting next i went to the travel aisle of target which i believe is the most comprehensive part of this whole survival kit stuff that comes from target target offers a lot of deodorants colognes shampoos conditioners in a small travel style this refresh kit looked pretty interesting, although I didn't pick it up and I should have. They also offer these, you know, travel container kits, which you can use to put soap in and other various things for your kit or your bushcraft bag or whatever. They also offered a lot of hand sanitizers, some first aid stuff, some Advil, these Johnson & Johnson small kits, which I really like picking up because they contain, you know, kind of the basics. Hand wipes, uh, sunscreen, Vaseline, as you can see there. Next, I decided to go in the first aid aisle. First aid at Target is pretty comprehensive as well. They offer a lot of, of course, Johnson & Johnson, like every other place. They had pre-made kits, they had some gauze, they had some, you know, tape, cortisone. There was also these small eye drops, which I'll show later on. I usually have a couple around me. And then these mini sewing kits. So they had this really small one, which is TSA approved, and then they had this larger one with the largest pair of scissors and some more sewing items for if you're clothing gets damaged. Now I'm going to kind of go into the uh, the last three parts of this are more interesting to me. First off is these Everspring reusable cleaning solutions and essentials. So if you are at your home and you are in a survival situation where you, I don't know, you want to carry a small amount of cleaning solution, you have these little tablets that you just add water to and you have your basic cleaning products for your bathroom, for all-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner. So this is something you can keep on hand if you want to keep your home tidy in a survival situation and you don't want to stock up on 50 bottles of uh, Lysol per se. Although I don't think anybody would do that. This is just an interesting solution uh, I found and, and proposing to y'all. And then I went to their tool aisle or tool aisle. I don't know why I said that's so weird. A bunch of their in-house brand. Nothing really looked that interesting. They had some pretty basic toolkits and then some, you know, bit sets and then this razor uh, utility blade right here. Although they didn't have any actual holder for the utility blade, so kind of useless. And then their final section, which y'all have probably been waiting for, is their camping section. Lackluster, to say the least. Uh, they had some lights. Um, and then they had some Gerbers, and that was pretty much it. They also offered Life Straw, and some ponchos, and some propane. Uh, Target's camping aisle, like five years ago, I would say was really good. 
they had really high valued brands like Gerber, which they still do have, and um, they had Swiss Army knives or Victorinox. And uh, I loved going to the Target camping section. I feel like they've kind of cared less about it over the couple years, which is why it's lackluster. But it's it gives you that opportunity to get maybe a little more high value items if you have a Target in your area. You don't want to just order from Jeff Bezos himself. So kind of going to the things I got from Target was not a lot. I picked up these Coolgate, or whoa, Coolgate, Colgate Wisp. These are these small pre-packaged uh, toothbrushes. So if I'm out hiking or in a survival situation, I want to keep my teeth clean. This gives me a different opportunity to do so. Also, I'm going to be using this for my Altoids tin kit, which I will have a video on at some point. And then this small sewing kit, so that was pretty neat. Seems like a lot higher quality than the Walmart one I had. Uh, comes with scissors, tape, and then, or not tape, measuring tape, and then a bunch of other assortments of thread. So, oh, I'll also show you. So these are the small, um, small eye drops. So I usually cut the ends off of these so it's smaller. And I have a couple around. And then here are the honey stingers. So these are usually used before. You take them before and during whatever activity you're doing. Um, they don't necessarily say what they offer, but I do carry a couple in my bag when I'm going hiking, bushcrafting, whatever. Um, yeah, so kind of lackluster from Target. Like I said, I couldn't make a kit from this because there wasn't a lot. Um, but it kind of just shows that some brands have more things than others. So yeah, kind of a short video today. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time.